my youngest granddaughters like to receive mail and I try to create things to send to them generally from the envelopes that I have on hand. So welcome to my channel. I call myself Two Old Crows Mix Media. My name is Peg. I like to create journals that you can write in. I enjoy dabbling in encaustic medium from time to time. I'm learning that process and of course there's a lot of other things on my channel, everything from ATC cards to altered playing cards to ephemera galore. So if you like that, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel, and the notification bell lets you know when I upload additional content. So to get started, I have these envelopes that I received in the mail from the company that I work for. To, um, it's, if you, I don't even want to go into explaining why they did that. But in any event, I have these envelopes and I want to utilize them to create a little note card to send to my granddaughter. So I'm starting with a piece or with a parchment white or a parchment colored paint. And I went to get a very subtle background laid down so that I have just that parchment color. I'm utilizing this stencil, just rubbing the brayer over it to put that impression on the plate, and then I'll pick that paint up with a piece of watercolor paper that I have cut to fit the envelope that I have on hand. I'm going to pull the excess paint off of my gel press with an additional piece of paper that I'll use later for some collage purposes, but right now, I want to just work on this, getting the stencil on the two note cards that I'm making. So I started with the parchment, did that on both, and now I'm coming back with the powder blue. Same stencil, same process here for the second color on both of these cards. So I'm just rubbing my brayer over that stencil on the paint and now we'll pick up that image in the powder blue color. And there you go. And I have both of them printed that way. And I am stenciling in a brilliant blue on each of the cards. And I have this stencil that has the plants for the little plant stems. And I am using this to create the image on the front of the card. And I'm just using a cosmetic sponge to transfer that paint, or I might be using a baby wipe I think I'm out of cosmetic sponges and I am looking for those. And the last two times I've been on Dollar Tree, they have not had them. So I'm going to have to find another source for those little cosmetic sponges. But there you go. And I'm happy with that. But I think I want to add a little bit more. So we'll just take that little stencil and go the other way as well. And I've taped off the areas that I don't want to come through, but now I want to use another part of that stencil, so I need to either retape or be very cautious. And I think coming right there will work. And I'm going to trust my luck at being very cautious. And I did okay. So that helps with the first one. We'll put just a little bit more off to this side. And the baby wipe is working pretty good. 
We have the stencil on the first complete, so I'll let that dry. And once dry, I'm coming back and I am just going to doodle on this with a white pen. And you can see up in the upper part of the screen that I had stenciled on that second one, but <clears throat> I don't like that stencil. It doesn't really give me um, anything to work with. So I'll show you what I do with that in a moment. But for the time being, I'm just going to doodle on each of these little um, leaves on this plant with this white gel pen. there you go. So the first one is doodled and done and set aside and this one I am not happy with so I'm pulling out the gesso and I'm going to cover that first stencil. And I'll let that gesso dry and then come back and work over the top of this. So I've covered that. I'm I'm going to pull this little uh, flower out and in that brilliant blue go over the top of that gesso. And we'll doodle this one with the same gel press pen. And that completes the two little note cards. I'll write a note on the back of those, stick those in the envelope, and send those off in the post to my two youngest granddaughters that enjoy receiving a little something in the mail. So I hope you enjoyed. Please give me that thumbs up if you like this content, and I hope you will take a moment, subscribe to my channel, Here's another playlist you might like. I'm getting ready to redo some notepads that I picked up at Dollar Tree. So join me for that series. I shall